Hi, and welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. If you've played around with the Amazon Fire Stick, you've probably noticed that it doesn't take long before you install a few apps and download a couple of things, and before you know it, you're out of space. <laughs> and adding space to an Amazon Fire Stick has been pretty much problematic, not that easy. There are lots of tutorials and YouTube videos out there on how to do it. In fact, I've never made one because it's just too much of a hassle and I find that the average person just isn't going to go through that. Well, that's changed with the new update to the Amazon Fire Stick. They've made it a lot easier to add storage. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But first, I'd really appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button down below so I can share more videos with you as they come out to help you cut the cord and save money on your cable bill. Before I get started and show you how to add storage to the Amazon Fire Stick, um, I'm going to show you the three inexpensive devices that you need to get. All of these are available on Amazon and are pretty inexpensive. Um, the first thing is a USB 3 USB drive. Um, they come in obviously all sizes, 16 gig, um, you know, 32, 128, even a terabyte if you want to. Um, get a good name brand USB 3 um, drive. I'm going to put the uh, the links in the description below so you can see exactly the ones that I'm using here today. The second thing you need is what they call a UTG cable. Basically, it has the, uh, the USB uh, connection for the next device I'm going to tell you about, and it has where you would plug in um, where, no where the power normally goes into the Fire Stick. You'd plug it in there, and then this is where you'd plug your power cord for the Fire Stick in, and that's how that works. The last thing you need is basically a USB hub. And these are, it looks kind of expensive, but it isn't, it's, it's really cheap. I'll put the prices on here as well. But um, this one here has the added bonus of uh, ethernet port. So if you're near um, your router, you can increase your speed and help on buffering as well by hardwiring the internet connection instead of using the Wi-Fi. Um, this one here by Ugreen has three USB ports. So you could not only add storage to one of them, you could add a like a keyboard or a mouse if, if you wanted to, uh, wireless or otherwise. All that stuff will work. But that's all you need to add storage to your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on adding storage to this Amazon Fire Stick and show you how easy it is. So far, I have my UTG cable connected and I have that USB hub um, connected to it as well. Um, if you have it all right, you'll see that there's a blue light on the, I don't know if you can see that, you'll see that there's a blue light on there. So what you do is you just take the USB um, thumb drive and put it into one of the ports. Put that over there. I mean, it'll be on the back of your TV, obviously. Right there, the little gear showed up and that's telling us that there's something that has happened. So let's go over to the gear and we'll see. It tells you that there's a notification that you've connected the USB drive. So what it's telling you right here is that the Fire TV cannot access the apps on this USB device yet. So all you need to do is click on that. So then it's gonna go ahead and ask you if you wanna format it for use um, to put apps and so on on the device. So we say, yep. You just click yes and let it go. This doesn't take very long. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer and I'll do a little fast forward here so you can see how long it actually takes. All right, so that wasn't too bad at all. When it gets done, it'll tell you that the formatting is complete and that you can now use it um, for your data transfer and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold in the home button and move over to settings and show you how to see uh, what, what this is doing. If you go into about and go to storage, it'll tell you now that the internal storage um, has three gigs left and the external space that we just added um, by putting this USB drive on is, this is a 16 gig uh, drive, so it, it gives you a little bit more than 15 gigs available. And as I said, you can add much larger drives if you want to. Um, the other thing that's nice about the Fire Stick's uh, interface and how it works with this internal storage and the external space is 
it will always keep two gigs of space available on your internal storage. So you don't have to worry about um, running out of space on your internal storage, which really you'd run into a lot of issues um, if you ran out of internal space. So if you keep adding apps um, one after another, if you get down towards that two gigabyte threshold, it's gonna start adding it um, those apps to the external space instead. And they'll run just fine from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button again. So that's it. So you can go ahead and install as many apps as you want pretty much, and you're not gonna worry about running out of space. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out with Cord Cutters Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.